Iran has huge gas reservoirs, and Iranians traditionally use a lot of natural gas. You can find gas stoves in nearly every Iranian home. And homes are usually kept warm using gas heaters or radiators. This woman says it's difficult to minimize her family's consumption, but that's what the government is asking the public to do. We are told to wear warmer clothes and turn on the gas stove only when we need to, and use thicker curtains to manage our energy consumption. And the prices in Iran are low. A gas bill for an ordinary apartment usually doesn't exceed $2 during winter. And the price of compressed natural gas is around one cent per cubic meter. But a prolonged cold snap that has hit Iran this winter has increased demand. Officials say consumption hit a record 660 million cubic meters last month, leading to outages in several northeastern cities. And public offices all over the country were shut down for a few days. Iran has an extensive gas network covering more than 95 percent of its urban households. But the country is struggling with high energy consumption in both industrial and residential sectors, with prices being heavily subsidized. The subsidies put a heavy burden on an ailing economy hit by decades of sanctions, but removing them could spark popular anger. A fuel price increase in November 2019 led to deadly protests and riots. Now officials say focus should be shifted to boosting energy efficiency. A price increase will only lead to discontent and anger. Before a price rise, we should take steps to improve efficiency. We should use more energy-saving heaters and buildings and work to change our lifestyles. Iran has seen improvements in expanding its natural gas production in the past couple of decades. But it remains underdeveloped when compared to the size of the country's reserves. Underinvestment has also hampered efforts to develop gas fields. Total left Iran and is now investing elsewhere. We have common gas fields with Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Iraq. They can extract more easily because they are not under sanctions. In July, Iran signed a $40 billion cooperation agreement with Russia to help it develop its gas and oil fields. But unless the country modernizes its infrastructure and tackles growing demand, critics say the gas shortage crisis will haunt Iran every winter. Reza Hatami, TRT World. Tehran.